1-0 defeat on the opening game of the season. Just first of all, your, your thoughts on your team's performance overall? Yeah, we're disappointed with the result. Uh, I want to give them credit for how we stuck at it, like I said, with the, the things that came up in the last few days. Um, we knew it was going to be a difficult place to come regardless and, and we stuck at it and, and had a good goal. And Yeah, we're really disappointed to, to not take something out of it. Um, probably the only criticism, because like I said, the effort was there. The commitment was there to cause, but the only criticism was, was we're a little bit shot shy. And as we, as subs, are always going to be attacking players in that situation and what we had on the bench. Um, but I would have liked us to put the ball in, in the box a bit more, risk possession that little bit more. Um, that's not taking anything away from Watford and how the defender once he took the lead. But yeah, that would be my only criticism. Because actually, if you look at the kind of good chances that they had, they were few and far between, which makes the goal even more frustrating. Yeah, they, they were, but the game was exactly as we prepared for. We knew when they've got some good front players, you could see it, that was their threat. Um, we knew there'd be a threat on the counter that individually and together they've got big moments in them. You know, they had that in the Premier League, they won games in the Premier League, those three on their own. Um, but we also know that they've been relegated with them in the team, so we fancy the chances and to be able to keep them quiet. Uh, and more often than not, we did. So, yeah, like I said, lo lots of positives in that respect and how we stuck at it. Um, but we, yeah, disappointed with the goal for a couple of reasons, but it's just the way it goes. I was obviously going to ask about that. Clearly, there's the first incident where the ref gets in the way of your mm. routine, which if that doesn't happen, maybe yeah. the goal doesn't go in. Well, it doesn't but go then in. clearly, there's also an opportunity where your players can cut it out on the way through. Yeah, so... Yeah. Yeah, so we wouldn't have happened if the ref didn't get involved. We get that, but we did have opportunities. And if you actually look at it, the recoveries and the, d the desire to get back is fantastic. We actually have five players recover back. Um, but it's just that mishap, it goes through the legs and we make a bad decision to, to go over. Um, so, like I said, it, it, probably the one moment in the game um, where we can't be happy. But like I said, it still weren't a question of the commitment and the work rate, you know. The desire for the five to get back was great, but my frustrations are more with obviously the ref's involvement in that. And of course, even with the kind of you saying that they were a little shot shy, maybe the final ball could have been a little bit better at times. You still had a great chance in the first half with Illuminan and Giant, a fantastic chance with John Egan in the second half. Yeah, the set plays, we had a couple, uh, even even first half, and then yeah, Illuminan. So yeah, and we had shots from Sander from distance. Uh, when we passed the ball, we were all right. I thought that's obviously we're taking away their threat on the counter. We're keeping the ball away from their front three. And I felt it was the best way for us to get in. We didn't pass the ball well enough. Second half, in my opinion, when we wanted a bit more. But the goal's a big moment, obviously. And I thought for a five minutes or so after that, we lost his composure. Then after that, we regained it. Excuse me, but we didn't have enough, like I say, in the, at the other end. And, Clearly, for the opening day of the season, there are a few players missing that you'd have liked to have been mm. there. If we go through a few, we'll start with the, the one from the match itself, Ender Stevens. How's he? Yeah, we'll have to see. He felt his calf, so we'll, we'll just have to see. And they're always a concern, aren't they, when it's just innocuous? Um, yeah, so we'll just have to wait and see. And the three injured that missed out Doyle and uh, Basham and Robinson, what's the latest with them? Robbo was yesterday in training again, another very innocuous one. Um, just clashed with Sander. Robbo cleared the ball and it was an accidental collision. So he's gone for a scan on his knee today. Um, yeah, so we wait that we await those results. Tommy's back on the grass running. Hopefully back be back with us sooner rather than later. Uh, similar with Bash, hopefully Bash will be back, back with us next week. Um, and in terms of kind of any of the others that have out and missed tonight, any likely to be back for the weekend? Yeah, Nell obviously. Nell had a a suspension that weren't processed in France that's obviously run over to us, which we found out about on Thursday, which is obviously frustrating. So, yeah, with it, like I said, the last couple of days we lost the three boys. As I said, that's why I want to pay you know, credit to obviously Kieran and Reese in there. Um, and like I said, we cope with probably the best front three in the league as it stands right now well. Um, but yeah, it's just. It's the way it goes this game, we, we need to be better, we will be better, we'll get the players back. We'll get the players back who's missed a lot of pre-season as well and keep them rolling forward and getting fitter, so yeah, we'll keep getting better. Great opportunity for Daniel Jebison tonight with the likes of Brewster and Sharp and Kadra waiting on the bench, how do you reckon he did? Yeah, we, we put him in for his legs, his energy, we know he's 100%, you know. Um, the other boys, like I said, Rian's been working hard pre-season and got the most minutes out of 
Um, the others, Reader came and we just got 20 minutes or so with him in a, in a behind closed doors, friendly with Rotherham, same with Bill. So they're massively undercooked, you know what I mean? But we know the fit now. So yeah, um, we knew it was that if, if one of those started, obviously they're coming off and they, some may be coming off early. So big opportunity for Jebel. James McAtee, how close is he to becoming a Sheffield United player? To wait and see, I've not even thought about it while I've been doing this today. Is he somebody that you are looking at? We've heard today that potentially he could even be up to the medical stage. Is no, that accurate? No, Cookies told me that as well. So, yeah, I know that's been doing the rounds. So, like I say, nothing, nothing to tell you on that because um, I've been here today. So, he's shown me the report now. So, we'll have to wait and see. Is he a player you're interested in? He's someone I know. Someone I know, a bit of talented player, yeah. Um, but he's not ours, so 